What's going on everybody and welcome to the final part of Gears of War 5. Um, yeah, um, I'm guessing we're right here at the end here, it just seems like it. And um, I've nearly, I've been recording just n nearly over an hour, and an hour now, so yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'm just guessing here. Well, I'm going to be finishing it anyway, uh, regardless of how long the video is. It could be 40 minutes, but I don't know. Probably probably not, though. I, I reckon the longest time will be half an hour. But anyway, let's get into it anyway. We are going to get to the stairs to go say hi to Mr. Carmine. There he is, Clayton. Oh shit, destroyed it all in one. Recharge between shots. So get on a turret and hold it. Alright, oh, okay. Hey, I need to tell it. Oh yeah, you can just tell them.
Kidding me? Don't tell me I have to do all of that again. Oh, fucking hell! Obviously, it goes out of control if it doesn't actually have the beacons. And, uh, Jack! He sacrificed himself to save us. Uh, I think he just destroyed what's left of the city. survived. He's still alive. It's Paddock. He's oh, Cole! Yes, I knew he didn't die. It's physically impossible. Mm -hmm. Can't kill the coal train. Yeah. Yeah, Fars is uh, still an asshole, but he's less of one. He's one of those good assholes. Like, you always hit the asshole in the group. 
I mean, Barrack was it when, uh, obviously, back in the older Gears of War games. I wonder if Marcus Phoenix ever actually smiles. Seriously. grandmother was Mira, the original queen, the first one in the first three games. And that is it. That is Gears of War 5. Just under 12 minutes. I, I thought that boss battle would be longer. Maybe it should have been. Maybe we should have been able to destroy all four things around it. But yeah, that was a really good game. It was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. I'm just going to hang on to see if there's any like, after credits. Oh, I did not mean to press B. Um, well, yeah, anyway, if there is, then it should play in a second, if not, then, um, whatever, but, um, if there isn't, if there was and I accidentally just skipped past it, I'll add it on after the end of, um, at the end of when I'm speaking now, but yeah, that was a really good game, I thoroughly did enjoy it, obviously there was some points in the game that irritated me, but there, there are a lot of moments in video games that irritate me, but the one problem that I really had with this game is the fact that I think it was five different occasions I got glitched. Not the fact that I got glitched into a wall or anything, there isn't any cutscene here, but I'll see if there is a. Uh, I'll see if there's another, there actually is one. It's not. The problem was, I got glitched so many times, and the thing is, the game was scheduled to come out on the 9th, but. Um, and it's only on Xbox. So they put it on. Um, they put it on the Game Pass for people who had the Ultimate, that people had. you know, had it. I had the I have the Game Pass Ultimate, you know, because they were doing a deal, a pound for a year, you know, that's pretty good. So I was like, okay, of course I'm going to play this game, you know, I'm, I love Gears of War, you know, um, I've only played Gears of War 4 on this channel and that was live streamed last year. But um, I feel like, because since it, did, it came out before the release date, like an entire week early on the Game Pass, there wasn't bugs, well, any other bugs, like, I don't know, like, enemies... Um, doing, you know, weird, like, glitching out or anything. But the fact is that they didn't spawn sometimes. That was the problem. That was the glitches that I had. The enemy wouldn't spawn, and then the AI just didn't know what it was doing. Also, yeah, that's just one other thing that slightly bothered me was the AI. I feel like the AI is physically retarded at some points, genuinely, because the amount of times that I should have been revived and didn't is ridiculous. But... But, other than that, the story was brilliant. I'm not too sure how it's going to work now for Gears of War 6, or Gears 6. I'm, I've titled it Gears of War 5, just because, yeah, they just called it Gears 5, but, you know, it's the same thing. Obviously, it's the same story. But, um, yeah, no, Gears 6, uh, Gears of War 6, um, I don't know when that's coming out. Of course, it could come out in 2021, 2022. I mean, Gears of War 4 came out in 2016. So, but then Gears of War 3 came out in 2011. So, I think, um, I think 2014 or fifth, uh, 14 was when Judgment came out. I'm not too sure on that one. I actually don't know when Judgment came out. It may have been 2012, actually. I can't remember. But regardless, it's kind of random. It could come out next year, you know, year after. I'd like to say the year after. I'd, I feel like they want to get right into making the next game. Um, I, but yeah, it was a good game. I really did enjoy it and stuff. Um, other than other than those problems, I don't think I've really got anything else for this game since I just wanted to play it for the story. Um, that's why I originally that's why I crossed it off of not playing it because 
I wasn't going to do it in the end, but uh, I'd do it. Um, do it. But since I had the opportunity to, I was like, oh, why not? You know, let's do it and stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty much just going to just have the campaign up, maybe down the road if I just feel like I might do a multiplayer video on the game, you know. So yeah, but good game. Um, kind of interested to see, you know, because the choice uh, to either have Dell or um, JD die. Um, obviously, I picked Dell. Apparently, a lot more people, uh, especially people you know that filmed it, did a playthrough, picked uh, JD to survive instead. Which um, I don't really see as surprising. I don't really know what is the better option. I just picked Dell because, well, really the same reasons why the Red Brad picked him as well, uh, is because um, you know because he's in pain. Nah, but <laughs> nah, but uh, I don't know. Um, just because he was with your character, just because he was with Kate the entire game, so that's really the entire reason why I went with him, but regardless, that was Gears of War 5, guys, hope you enjoyed here, I have been tired, so I've recorded this, by the way, before I've played Borderlands 3, but I'm uploading it after the Borderlands 3 series is finished, and then I'm, I started, I'll start uploading it right out, I started uploading from part 1 after, um, Borderlands 3 finished, so I tied this in, I tied Call of Duty Modern Warfare in with this game, so I did them at the same time, basically, although I was like, maybe five or six parts, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just taking a guess here, into Gears of War uh, 5, this game. So, I'm recording this, uh, at the, it's currently September 15th, three days before my birthday, <laughs> but no, September 15th, um, uh, I started recording, well, it was about a week ago now. Uh, I haven't, it hasn't taken me a week by the way, it's really taken me three days altogether to get this game done. Um, I spent two days before I uh, went to my dad's for a week and then I came back to record the, the last hour of this game because I didn't have time. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, this game was good, I enjoyed it, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like here. Um, as I said, I probably finished Call of Duty Modern Warfare by the time I finished this story as well. Probably at the same time I finished them. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you. Um, yeah, wait. Um, oh yeah. Also, the final series of this year will be. Uh, I might. Well, I might be doing um, right after this series and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I've done them together, obviously, as I said. I will be. Might be doing the full game, but I might only do one video for it. Devil May Cry Five as well. Uh, but other than. But and then. Uh, and then the last week of this year will be. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.